Hello guys, welcome back. Many of you in my earlier videos wanted to know that, okay, what did I do to set up my terminal and what are the different, let's say, extensions I used in my VS Code and how did I set up the virtual environment and so on, right? I want to cover all those things along with creating the data science and LLM videos. I, I'm going to create a series of videos related to that and the first one today is about the terminal. After watching this video, let's say this is the normal terminal. If I do ls here, it will be just a normal terminal. I will show you how to convert the terminal from this to this. Let's get started. First thing first, because I haven't installed anything right now, you need to have Homebrew installed in your terminal or let's say in your computer. For that, you need to go to the Homebrew. And by the way, I'm planning to create a medium post for all the commands that I type here. That is easier for you just to copy and paste in your terminal. And I'm going to work this in the MacBook. Every command that I type here must work in your Mac terminal. What I will do here is copy this. And once I copy this, now I need to go to the terminal, right? Here, I will go here and paste. Once I paste this, it will ask password for me because it is going to have the sudo ss. You need to provide your password. Here, I will provide my password. Once that is done, as you can see here, it is going to, it says the following new directories will be created and so on. We need to provide enter or create for that. Once this is done, as you can see here now, it is going to do lots of things behind the scene and it will take some time. It is going to install, as you can see here, and it says here it needs to do something. So you don't need to worry about anything, but now everything is done there. But once that is done, what you need to do is then, as you can see, it says run this command in your terminal to add homebrew to your path. Right. We need to provide the path for that homebrew. I have already run the command before, but that's the reason it is just showing me this eval, this thing here. But for you, maybe you need to run another command, which I will just show you here. I will just copy this and do control V. Here, what I'm doing is you can just command uh, control C, control V also for you. But this will be shown in your terminal itself. But what you need to do is replace this username here. I have provided my username, but for you, you need to provide your username. You can just run enter. And now if you do brew, it shows here all the different things, meaning that we are ready to grow and uh, home brew is now installed and it is in our path. Right. What is the next thing that we need to do now? We haven't done anything related to the uh, terminal itself because this is used to install the things that we need. Right. I will clear this. After we add this, we need to install item2 because this is item which comes by default. Right. Item2 helps you to customize your terminal and we can use brew for that. That's the reason we first uh, installed brew home. What we can do here is I will just copy the command so that you will also do the same. I will do control V. So what I'm doing here is brew install cask item2. It is going to install item2. So once this is installed, you will see the difference already. Let's say uh, I, I need to open the item two. Now this is item which is by default the terminal in Mac, right? It is installing here. Once this is installed, then we can start uh, creating our terminal more better. How we are going to do that is installing oh my Jess and then also the plugins and themes on top of that. Let's see how it goes. It is installing the item two. It will take some time as you can see here. And okay, it's as I speak, it is completed here. Okay, now as it says here, as you can see, item two was successfully installed, but we are on the terminal. What we need to do is open item two. For that in the Mac, you can go to the spotlight sorts and then type item and enter. It will, it will say, okay, it is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? I can say open it. And now it is shown here. I will make this little bit bigger. As you can see here, this is item two and the previous one, which I was showing you is the terminal. If you want to make the font bigger, what you can do is go to the top. There is item two and you need to open the settings. And here is the settings. You go to the profiles and you go to the text. And here you can see there is regular and 12. You can just go here and provide maybe let's say 16. As you can see, it, it becomes bigger, right? So that's all. And if I do LS, now it's, it's still the same, right? It was similar to what it was before. But now what we do now is 
install git because then we are using git in order to install many things if you want to just check if there is git installed or not you can just go here okay there is already the git installed if it is not installed in your system what you can do is use the brew for example brew and you can just type install and git then the git will be installed the next thing what we need to do is install the oh my js right this is the command that we can type or we can just copy paste instead of typing Control c and let me go to the terminal here or item 2 let's say in that way Control v and install it is going to install as you can see here oh my js in our system it's installed and as you can see now the terminal already looks much more better here once this is done so what are the things that we need to do i'm looking the documentation or let's say the instructions here the next thing is we need to have the power level 10k theme for oh my js right for that also i have the instruction here what we can do i will just copy this one and now i will again go to the terminal and then do control v what this does is install all the necessary things and oh my just knows where to look all the different things i will run enter once this is done what we can do next uh, is we can now go to the jdss rc file right i will go vim and then i will go to the root dot jdshrc and here what we need to do is go to this robby rochelle this is the default being used theme what we need to do here is copy that with the power level 10k let me copy this go here and paste right i will do escape colon wq to save this and now what i need to do is run this command here source jdshrc i will run this one now it is going to ask us to install the power level 10k by the way all the things i will write in the medium post so it's easier for you but having side by side video and the documentation might help you also now we need to follow all the instructions here we need to know if that is a diamond we can say why that is diamond right i will type in the keyboard and it says does this look like a lock yes i can just type why and then does it does this look like the upwards arrow why and then do all these icons fit between the crosses we can do why and okay now it's up to you what are the different things that you want to have but for me i'm going to go with the rainbow and unicode or ascii i'm going to go with the unicode i will just do one 12 hour or 24 hour or no time i want to have the time i will say two 24 hour time what kind of things you want to have uh, prompt separators i want to go with the angled prompt heads i want to go with the sharp prompt tails i want to go with the let's say flat one one liner or two liners i want to go with the two liners and prompt connection disconnected dotted or solid i want to have the solid one so i will go with the three no frame left right and full it's up to you which one you want to go i want to go with let's say no frame one and connection color what kind of things you want to have lightest light dark darkest i want to have the dark one so i will go with three and compact one or the sparse one i want to have the compact one so i will go with the one and few icons or many icons i want to go with many icons i will type two and then concise or fluent i want to go with concise so i will go for one and what kind of things do you want to have enable transient prompt as you can see the difference here i'm going to go with the first ones i will say or maybe no i will type n and it says your instant prompt mode you can go through this but i'm going with the one that is verbose recommended and do you want to override the things there i will say yes and apply changes to this i will say yes as you can see here now everything is done whatever we choose there is now being reflected here right you can just say clear and do ls it's already much better right and the things that we downloaded is as you can see here there is power level 10k now if i go to desktop as you can see here, the terminal looks much more better already if you want to do again the configuration what you can do is you can go here and say p10k configure if you don't enter it says you do you want to continue again i will not do this i will queue 
what you can do here is you can have the backgrounds or all the different things but two things what i want uh, to have here is let's say um, i want to have the jdss plugins right there are different plugins that supports with the jdss and for example if you the one that i suggested you to do is this auto suggestions once what it does is i will show you once i install this i will just copy this first and then i will go to the item 2 terminal and here i will just paste it enter so it is going to clone all the different things and next thing or i can just already do from here i will do this uh, source to reflect it what happens now if you type c d and then maybe we need to exit this and come back again it should work actually this source a source thing but let's see jdshrc but i think i need to quit this let me exit this if you exit what happens here is you are now back to the normal terminal right i will exit from here also i will now open again item this is the item i will make this little bit bigger it's easier for you now if i do cd desktop alias it is not reflected why it is not reflected is because i haven't provided that in the jdsh rc file right in order to see what the auto suggestion does that was the thing that it is not shown here i will do vim i will go to the place dot jdsh rc and here if you go down here there is the thing called plugin but if you want to just sort what you can do is slash in the vim and if you type plugin and as you can see here this is the plugin and here we just have the git but we need to provide the one that we just downloaded, right? What is the one that we downloaded is the JDSH auto suggestions, right? I will type JDSH auto suggestions and I will run escape WQ. I will again do the source things to reflect. Uh, yes, this one. And now if I do C, as you can see here it says cd desktop because it remembers the previous command that i typed that is the auto suggestions thing see this uh, this saves a lot of time uh, because you might be writing so many different things and uh, it helps you to go to that command let's say cd so if you don't if you haven't typed then it will not be here that is the reason i, I have just typed cd desktop before let's see if i do ls the the color is just the normal things right there is one thing called color ls which you can install and if you go up here this is from the git also of course and it says here color ls the ruby gem that beautifies the terminal in mac it's actually easy to install if you go here and let's say shorts for the installation here and you can just run this gem install color ls Control C. I will again go to the terminal and then this one. It is going to install all the things here. It will maybe take some time. Let's see. Or, or I might need to provide the sudo for this. Let's wait. When this is going through it. I think I, I don't need to provide the sudo. Yeah, okay. It is fetching the things. But now if I do ls it's still here let me do source i think i need to do the source oh, okay not ls but it is a so color ls right that is the difference that i just installed this if i do ls it's normal if i do color ls okay jdss command not found color ls it is color ls or yes it is color ls okay why it is not swing here okay enable the tab completion for this one start using color ls so i think no it's not necessary okay it should work actually let me see what i need to do maybe do i need to quit let me exit and i will again open it sometimes it works just by closing the things and opening it again if i do color ls no it does not work if i do less there is the thing it is color ls isn't it yeah it is color ls oh what is the thing here note that this is this color ls 
Mm hmm. But let me see. What if I do? I'm just trying here. I'm just providing the sudo ss password. Okay. New new things again here. Uh, let me see if it works. I'm installing the color ls. It will take some time again, but it should work because according to the documentation i don't think there is anything that it okay it is fetching some more things with the sudo command meaning that okay there was some additional things probably let me see i will clear the screen and i will do color ls okay now it works meaning that we need to have the sudo in front of the color ls if i do color ls as you can see here it has different icons also in front of the in front of the folders if i go inside the desktop if I do ls, okay, there is nothing there, but you get the idea. But it's it's kind of difficult always to do call or ls. What we can do is I will again go to Vim, JDSHRC, I will create a LES, right? What I can do is go at the down here, and as you can see, there are some LESs here. I can type JDSHS config and some things. What I will do here is I will add one more LES. I will do LES. And then I need to give the name ls equals to I will do this color ls that's it and I will do escape wq and what I need to do again don't forget that you need to provide this source jdssrc to make it into effect I will run this one and now if I do ls you can see the color ls is reflected with the ls Okay, I think I I covered <laughs> a lot of things and I will document this all in the Medium post. Uh, I hope you will now have a good looking um, terminal. And the next one at some point, I will show you also how to make your VS Code extensions. Let's say what kind of extensions you need to have for the data science project or LLM projects. Yeah, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.